Hi, everybody. So I wanted to talk today about this idea that I find a lot in the spiritual community, and it really is such a pet peeve of mine, is that people tend to, when they're trying to figure something out, or when they're going through a hard time, or they find that there's a, like a chronic issue going on, the first thing that they do is to try to figure out how karmic is it? How big is it? Was it a past life issue? Is this you know, collective trauma that you're holding? Is this, um, you know, like a soul's journey, a soulmate, a twin flame? Like there's this bigger words or like kind of like these, these terms that we just kind of throw around, PTSD, trauma, all of these things. And a lot of times when people are trying to examine, they jump ahead to this like giant picture of what it could be. And they don't ask themselves the simple questions of just what does their lifestyle look like? Um, I had one client once who was extremely, extremely not doing well, very depressed, and he was playing the blame game on his relationship with his father and, you know, saying all these things about what his father did to him as a kid. And they're all true, not dismissing anything. He said he had a shitty dad, point blank. He had a shitty dad, but now he's an adult. And what we do as adults is Yes, there was a trauma in the past and in childhood, but really our real suffering is happening from this point, not being able to move forward from it. The ways that that trauma is still impacting our lives, the ways that we are still recreating that pattern within our systems over and over and over again. And we're still blaming that, that North Star, that thing that, that happened years ago. And we're not really seeing like, okay, between now and yesterday, what were the th ways that I reenacted that story? So again, you're, you're, what I frustrates me so much is the putting it out there, that healing is somewhere out there. That was the trauma and healing somewhere over there, as opposed to just kind of looking inwards and taking responsibility from this moment, not from what happened, but from this moment between yesterday and today, what were the ways that I reenacted that story? And what are the ways that I can tighten that up? nine times out of 10, it's not necessarily going back and confronting the bully. It's not necessarily these big decisions. It's not necessarily going on a psychedelic journey and finding your karma. What I wanna do and, and something I do with the clients, my clients is just, let's work through your daily life. Like, what are your eating habits like? What are your sleeping patterns like? Do you go outside every day? Do you exercise? Or do you sit in front of the TV? or Netflix? Do you relax or do you numb out? All of those things accumulate and that's what creates your yesterday to today a very traumatic, like it's a traumatic experience when we don't let things move through us. It could be it's hard to let it move through us because of what happened in the past and I'm not minimalizing that, but it's, it's really what I want to do is to remind everyone that you have the ability and you have the power to take care of yourself and take responsibility for your needs today. Not what happened, but today you can take responsibility for yourself. So with that client who was really struggling, and I remember asking him, tell me a little bit about your diet. Tell me a little bit about your exercising, about your movement. And he said something, and this was after like three months working together and nothing was changing. And, and I just had this idea of what is going on in your daily life. And he says he falls asleep on the couch. He doesn't go to his bed. He falls asleep in the clothing that he's wearing that day. He eats processed foods. He works from home. And then the second he's done with his work on his computer, he opens the tab to Netflix and watches Netflix until he falls asleep on the couch. And it's a vicious cycle. Like that depression is just leading to more depression, more morose energy. Nothing's moving, nothing's shifting. So that was what it, what was needed was can you just commit to drinking water instead of soda and can you commit to taking a 10 minute walk around the block between work and your time off and and those little daily shifts are huge i really really cannot emphasize that enough your karmic journey that big thing that happened that big thing that you're going to that you want to go to the trauma that happened over there and the healing that seems so far away, none of it's outside of you. It, there's a battle happening within. 
The trauma is still there and the healing is also there. So it's your daily choices. It's your consistent daily choices that are going to make the difference. So before we get into like in work of like this soulmate that came in, or is it a twin flame? And all these things are being past lives, all of that, all of those things that come up, I promise you, you will feel 100% better if you just go through the different areas of your life and you just ask yourself, where am I showing up for myself and where am I not? Where am I letting my old stories just constantly have a daily reenactment? And where am I absolutely showing up for myself? And when you take back your everyday life, with showing up for yourself, things are going to change. Those huge karmic ropes in your life are going to shift as well. So start with right now, start with today. How can you create today a different story than what happened to you in the past by those small decisions? Anyways, I hope that was helpful and wishing everybody a wonderful day. Bye.